Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Last time we talked about using zero tier to build a secure network that you can use to access your devices. Today I'd like to briefly talk about using full tunneling, that is configuring zero tier to route all your internet traffic through the VPN tunnel. This allows you to hide your actual IP address and location from all online interactions. This means all your online activity, regardless of the website or service, gets encrypted and sent through a dedicated server in your network called the exit node. In this video, I'll show you how to set it up and why you would even want that in the first place. Are you intrigued? If yes, buckle up and let's dive right in. Let's imagine you are uh, at an airport uh, or a hotel and you did connect to a Wi-Fi network. It's uh, openly accessible and has weak security. You don't know who set it up or who else might be using it. There's a chance it could be a malicious network set up to steal your information. How about uh, we picture that you are on a trip abroad and you try accessing your banking application or any other application for that matter you try opening its web page, but you got a timeout or explicit information that your IP is not allowed. Most likely, the traffic is restricted. It's only allowed from a specific region or set of IPs. Lastly, what if you'd like to hide your IP address and location from the websites you visit? To address above issues, you can use full tunneling mode. Let me explain how it works. By default, Zero tier acts as an overlay network. It creates a virtual network on top of an existing physical network infrastructure. This gives you access to devices as if they were on the same networking segment, even if they are scattered all across the globe. This type of setup is ideal for secure connection to a server, home computer, application, or managing a networking device. Basically, you have a virtual network interface that allows you to securely reach your other devices. In such setup, your internet traffic is not affected. If you connect to Google or Facebook, your traffic still goes via the default gateway. As we have secure access to other zero-tier nodes, the idea is to send all your traffic through one of the trusted nodes of your network. To set it up, you designate one of your devices as so-called exit node. You can then opt in to use the exit node on your client. Once enabled, all your traffic will securely reach that node and enter the internet there. In other words, once enabled, the exit node becomes the default gateway. You need to explicitly enable this functionality on the client. It's not enabled by default. Last thing to mention is that the encapsulated VPN packets are still sent to the original gateway. If we would completely replace the standard default route with one pointing to the zero tier network, then the kernel would not know how to reach other VPN nodes. So long story short, encapsulated VPN traffic goes to the original default gateway, all other traffic goes to the default gateway pointing to the exit node. For the exit node, I did choose a Debian host but it can be any other Linux operating system. I have the zero tier software already installed. First thing we need to do is to enable packet forwarding. This will make our node act as a router. To do that, let's open the sysctl file that holds the kernel configuration parameter. Changing IP forward to one will allow our server to receive data packets addressed to other devices on the network, consult its routing table to determine the appropriate destination, and then forward those packets to the intended recipient via the respective network interface. Our exit node will receive data via the zero tier interface and then send it via the interface pointing to the internet. Now let's reload the configuration. Next step is to identify which interface points to the internet as we may have multiple interfaces. To do that, I will query the routing table for the entry pointing to Google's public DNS. Okay, the interface name is END0. Uh, traffic via this interface to the internet needs to be nutted to hide the zero tier network. Source IP needs to be replaced with END0 interface IP so the return traffic knows how to get back. 
firewall configuration needs to be persisted across reboots. For that to happen, let's open NFTables configuration file and add a new chain. Let's call it post routing. Then let's attach to the type NAT of post routing hook with SRC NAT priority as we'll be doing packet manipulation after the routing decision has been made. For packets leaving via our END0 interface, let's perform masquerade. This will cause all devices from the private network, in our case, zero tier subnet, to share the IP of END0 interface. Basically, packets coming from the zero tier network will appear to originate from the exit node. Our server will translate the private IP coming from the zero tier network to the IP of the END0 interface. Let's save the configuration. Uh, next, I will enable NFTable service. This will load the configuration during boot. By adding dash dash now option, the command will start the service right away. Let's list our firewall, all looking good. Next step is to log into zero tier controller available at my.zerotier.com and create a new network. Let's copy the network ID. We'll then use it for our nodes to join the network. I will go to our exit node and join the network with zero tier CLI join and provide the network ID. Okay. The join request has been successfully sent. Now it's time to approve the joining request in the zero tier controller. I will scroll down to the member section, name the server exit node and approve the request with this tick. Okay, IP has been assigned. To check if our node joined the network, let's execute the zero tier list network command. All looks good. A new network interface has been added and an IP address has been assigned. Let's go back to our controller and scroll up to Managed Routes. A managed route is automatically propagated to all zero tier nodes. Let's add the default route to the internet via our exit node. Basically, the controller will advertise the default gateway to all zero tier nodes. That completes our exit node configuration. Now let's focus on setting up the client. I have the zero tier already installed on my Mac. First step is to join the network. Let's copy the network ID, then click on the join new network and provide the network ID. I will approve the joining request. To do that, let's click on the network, scroll down to the member section, and name the node as Mac and tick the approval. Let's wait a few moments for the IP address to be assigned. Okay, we have two members in our network, our Mac OS client and the exit node running Debian. Let's check the connectivity from the client to the exit node. Okay, connectivity is there. Mind that the default gateway of our Mac OS client has not changed. The traffic to the internet is routed via EN1 interface. Let's check our public IP. It begins with uh, 83. Access to the zero tier nodes work. The path to the internet is via 192.80, then 192.18, and then bunch of dynamic.mm hosts. Now the fun part. To direct all the traffic via the exit node over the zero tier network, we need to select allow default route override option. Our zero tier controller is advertising the default route on the network, but it's not used automatically we need to explicitly enable it on the client. If we check the default route, we'll discover a new default gateway has been added that points to the exit node. Let's check our public IP. Do you see that? The traffic was sent over the tunnel to the exit node and went to the internet there. Let's perform a trace route to see how it's routed. First hop was the exit node, then the router and the internet. That's exactly what we wanted. All our internet traffic is tunneled through secure connection and enters the internet from the exit node. If we disable the allow default route override option, our internet traffic will go back to the direct path. If I check the public IP, it's back to the original. With this approach, you can securely route your internet traffic through a specific node. Zero tier makes it very easy to provision. 
Unlike other VPN technologies, you don't even need a dedicated public IP or a VPN gateway. Moreover, as a client, you can join multiple zero-tier networks and have multiple exit nodes. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more interesting networking content.